All right. Um, I had a, a few things um, that I stumbled across. All right. First, um, I was uh, obviously it was Patch Tuesday, but it was also another uh, round for the uh, BitLocker slash UFI uh, CVE circus uh, of applying <laughs> uh, updates. And uh, let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. Dum, dum, dum. I'm going to go ahead and bring that one up and remove yours. So Gary Block, with some good aid from Mike Terrell, has been working tirelessly or providing a good way to apply uh, Basically, that, that the patch to remediate, remediate that particular fix. Uh, depending on how you do this, uh, the challenge is you're going to require either six or, six or seven reboots just to get that one fully installed, um, which is, of course, royally painful. It can be hard to just convince a user to reboot once and now come and say, then, well, uh, you have to do it seven times. But long story short, uh, Gary, to get with some help from Mike here, I'll figure out how to create the sequence to do all of this. Uh, there is a new version of this sequence available um, uh, today. I went ahead and imported that into my config manager environment. So this is what the latest version looks like. You can see there is a uh, more flat structure than the original version. And there is also here additional checks. It will check that the operating system has the right uh, patch levels in installed for the different versions of Windows that it supports. And also there are checks to determine, okay, where are we in terms of uh, different steps of applying this update? And then each of these steps with the multiple reboots uh, takes care of the configuration. But this is, I mean, <laughs> having to create a, I don't know how many steps, there are 40, 50 step sequence to apply a patch that is a little bit more than should be needed. But that's where we are right now. So Gary, Mike, can't thank you enough for putting this together. Uh, for folks out there, do play around and test this with an emphasis on test. <laughs> because the success level is going to depend on a lot of factors, including what BIOS version you are on out there. Uh, so you may very well have to patch BIOS in order to apply things like this. Uh, Microsoft has some known issues they posted already around uh, this particular patch, but this is something that we will have to work with now for the next upcoming months. And once the machine is patched, uh, well, good luck on getting your old boot images to, to boot up device again. You have to update those as well. So work in progress. Um, would have been nice if this would have been easy, but again, well, you probably wouldn't have a job. So there, there are good things to it. Right. So that's what I stumbled across. And of course, we will share that link um, together with the others. Mm -hmm.